Hi guys, this is Duncan from Dunksweb.com. I thought I'd use this video to talk to you about Dunksweb, how it was created and what we're running behind the scenes. I've had a lot of people who have come over that are curious about how everything is running and also a lot of messages from people asking about creating the website, uh, the best platform to use and what extras to add in. So Dunksweb, if you haven't checked it out before, it's a perfect complement to the YouTube channel. I post here and a bunch of other people post here. We've got tips and tricks, we've got reviews, we've got everything really to do with computers if you're interested. It's sort of a magazine style so over here is sort of like a blog you'll see the recent posts and then you can see things by category here and some other useful things are the freeware section where you can check out all the different things you can also go into the chat room we've got a bunch of different things you can check out here as well now to begin with Dunks Web was just a simple blog it was just me there I was just posting useful things and posting things from YouTube onto here that I thought might you know benefit people so when I first started I simply went over to GoDaddy and registered a .com domain it was a 749 because you can use coupons so it says 1069 here if you search around you'll find it and get it cheaper now I know a lot of you will want to use free hosts I strongly do not recommend doing that uh, if you have a .com domain and you have your own web hosting you can then put things like AdSense or get revenue basically for your site and in the end if you work as hard as possible on the site you get as much content on there as possible and get enough traffic there then you essentially get revenue on that site and the hosting will then pay for itself which is what Dunksweb is doing at the moment it's paying for itself which is great and so in the end it does end up becoming free in the long run because you start making money from it because you own that domain so dunksweb.com is what I own so I simply registered this and pointed the DNS servers or the domain name servers over to HostGator. Now we run HostGator, we've got the baby plan which allows me to have unlimited domains. Now what this means is that I can actually set up as many websites as I like. So I can go over to GoDaddy and say for example I want DuncanStuff.com and then point that over to uh, my baby plan on HostGator and I can then use the hosting on that so the site can be set up within minutes and everything all the different sites I own has their own folder in my account so I simply go into the FTP go into that folder and I can then set it up from there so I can upload my files so it's really useful stuff to have unlimited domains especially if you want to have loads of things that aren't related to what you're doing on the web so you can do things like your own custom mobile phone site for your specific model and then just do a generic mobile phone site that's just an example but as you can see it's 7.95 a month which is pretty cheap really considering how much you can do with this now I'll provide a link to this in the description if you want to help us out we can do affiliates as well so let's get back to Dunks Web and how it's been set up we're actually running WordPress if you didn't notice the little thing here we're running the 2.9.2 .2, as you can see here now the great thing about WordPress is when updates are available it will sort of flash up here you can simply click upgrade now and it does it all automatically and if you're running with HostGator it will do it all automatically uh, some of them may require you to upload the actual uh, zip file to upgrade but this will just say activating blah 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 and this is done simple as that so you don't have to worry about editing files or anything like that another th great thing about this is that you can do exactly the same thing with plugins you can just simply search and then press install and it does it all through the web space area you know what I mean the dashboard so here you can see I have the stats. This is done for a plugin. You can see at a glance we have 373 posts, uh, almost 2,000 comments on the site. You can also see the incoming links. So this is a bunch of useful stuff that you can have. Obviously you can go into the screen options, configure it if you want to see the latest news from their site or whichever. So it's pretty cool. So great thing about WordPress is a blog. You can ping things out. I've actually changed the settings to uh, ping out to more than is provided with WordPress. I think it pings out to things like Yahoo. Now I'm not sure if it's in the settings here. It might be in the writing settings. Excuse me, I'm very sorry while I check this. Uh, here we go. I've got a bunch of different things which I can list if you require. Uh, just send me a message, I'll just send them to you. It's a bunch of different things that we ping out to. It basically sends like a message to another thing that checks for all these posts and says, hey, we've uploaded a new post. Post this on your thing. So we're basically pinging out to all these things well worth doing if you want to try and get more traffic onto your blog. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the plugins that we have installed. Now if you don't know we're using the Zero theme, me and Dan modified that sorry let's go back to this uh, the zero theme we're running here now a lot of people have moaned about the layout and we will be changing this very soon we tried a new theme on it but it broke a lot of stuff so we've reverted back but uh, we simply modified this took a few things out with Farbug I don't have this installed at the moment but you can basically do live edits on your website and you can see what things look like you can take things out add things in change a few things without actually affecting the website and it all does it real time very useful plugin for Firefox 
So let's go back into the uh, plugins that you can get for WordPress. You see the ones I've installed. Now, ignore the ones that are shaded. So we've got a few that are shaded here, for example, this one. I won't talk about them, but you can sort of see what they do as I go through. Uh, the ones we were using or we were just testing out. So let's begin. Add to any. We can share bookmark and email buttons. So if I go on to a post, for example, and you can see Dan's really good post here about the about config in Firefox, excuse my slow internet. And if we head all the way down to the bottom, so you've read this post and you want to share it out to someone. The great thing is we have a nice little button here that can help you and you can go ahead and put it on Twitter, dig, you can email it, you can bookmark it. That's all done with the uh, plugin which is the add to any. There is another one called share, share this that we, that we were using but I think it had some extra code built in and we didn't really want to see that and it was showing up on the main page so we have, we've been using add to any. We also have Akismet. This uh, chucks out spam basically, checks all the comments, goes to the WordPress server and stops spam coming through. It doesn't work all the time, sometimes catches real comments so make sure you go ahead and check that out but we do use a different comment system which we'll talk about very soon. We also use the all-in-one SEO pack. This allowed me to do this little thing here with the characters so I changed that a little bit. And you can also change the way the URLs are done. You can add in meta tags, which might help when search engines find your site. And so, for example, if I was to Google quickly, again, I apologize for doing this live, uh, Dunks Web, you can see it's got a bunch of things here. It also shows up, shows up the categories. So that's pretty cool. And you can see I'm number one in Duncan. So thank you to X Marks for that. Um, but it's an easy way to sort of sort out your SEO. If you don't know what SEO means, it's search engine optimization. So how Google will see your site. You can configure all that within here. We have the discuss comment system. Going back to the post, you can see here, I'm logged in through discuss. So I have my own little avatar on comment how I want, share it on Twitter. You can also comment through Twitter and Facebook and things like that. And in from the admin side, I can actually, if someone posts a comment, it will email me saying blah blah has posted a comment and you can see the comment and if they post something nasty and they say this post is rubbish or something like that um, and it's just a spam post really I can simply reply in the uh, email just reply in the body delete and it will delete that comment I can simply uh, type something into the body of the email and click send and it will type that as a comment in reply to the person who made that post so that's pretty useful and you can also do other things. Uh, the great thing about Discuss as well is if other sites use it, you're logged into that on other sites. So the more people that use Discuss, the better it is for everyone if they're already logged in. So it's very cool to use Discuss, I highly recommend it. Now going to more plugins, excuse me, I'm swallowing a lot, <laughs> swallowing a lot even. So Favicon Manager, when I started with Dunks Web, I couldn't see the Favicon. I put the ICO file in a bunch of places and it wasn't working. So I just got the plugin and it did it straight away. So you just simply add it in. Now FeedBurner, I'm gonna quickly go on to FeedBurner.com just to show you this, this is from Google. This allows you to, uh, ignore this by the way, this isn't the real one, this was just a test one. For some reason I've got one subscriber to it, but this allows you to check the statistics of your feed. So you can see how many people are subscribed. You can also optimize it as well. So you can make it browser friendly. You can do a special page that people check. Uh, you can change the title, blah, blah, blah. You can publicize it. You can do email subscriptions, check a bunch of things. Do I have a feed count on your actual site showing how many people are on it? I recommend not doing this if you have about five people because that will just you know put people off if they see oh, only five people are looking at this. So obviously it's not worth looking at. You can also monetize sorry monetize it by adding in adsense so again another way to add revenue to your site so another way to collect money um, and help put more towards the site if you need and obviously you can troubleshoot as well so I highly recommend feedburner uh, what the feedsmith will do is replace all the rss that's on your site with feedburner so if you have more than one icon or blah 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 it will check for all of them and then replace them now we have the genki pre-publish reminder as we have multiple people on the blog, if I go ahead and edit this, uh, where are we? It's at the top, isn't it? There we go. You can see me doing my mistakes live. Awesome. You can see I'm already editing this post, fair enough. But you can see on the right hand side we have a pre published reminder. So if any of the uh, new people to the blog that are writing, uh, we do tell them uh, this is what you really should do. But in case they don't do it, we've also got this reminder here that tells people, obviously, that we don't want people posting about wares or anything like that, because uh, obviously the site could be taken down because of that. So we just make sure people uh, have a look through and check their stuff before they post. Now, going back to the plugins, we have Google Analytics. If you don't know about Google Analytics, it's basically web stats on steroids. 
So if we head over to the Google Analytics site and we'll access it, I should be logged in, quickly access my sites and head to Dunks Web, view a report. And you can see we've got a bunch of sites. You can see all the visits per day uh, from different people, the page views, average time on site. We've got two minutes, 17 seconds, which is fine. Our blog's informational, so people are just gonna come across, read a post and then go, which is fair enough. You can see new visits, you can break it down to referring traffic and all that stuff and see what's got the most page views. It really is web stats on steroids. You can go down to um, how long each visitor has been on, what their operating system is, blah, blah, blah. It's cool stuff. But we're also using a stats for WordPress, which again, I'll show you in a second. Um, going back, Google Custom Search Plugin, another way to monetize and a way for people to use the Google search engine on your site. So you type in something to here, it'll come up with a Google version, replacing the version that WordPress has. I find it more useful and people sort of trust Google so they're more likely to use it. And going back to plugins, we have GT Post Approval. If I head over to the Edit Posts area, you'll see everything on the right hand side has reject. Now, if someone posts something we don't think is worth uh, using, uh, we won't approve it. So that is just an area to stop people posting anything that we don't think should be worth on the site. Um, we can just go ahead and do that. Only administrators and editors can do this. Uh, if someone forgets a picture or anything like that, it's great for us to be able to check through that before it goes out. So we make sure we've got good content before it goes out onto the website. That's simply just a way for us to do that. If you have multiple authors, if you're just the only person posting, then you won't need that. So. The next one is Hello Dolly. This is one that was included with WordPress. It just shows the lyrics from Hello Dolly up here. It's just something fun. We just haven't deactivated it. Uh, Lightbox 2, if I go back into a post, uh, where is the view post? Uh, let's go back. And I scroll all the way down and I click this image. You can see it's got a nice little animation which shows the image. So it just makes it look nice. That's the reason we got it. So it looks more, you know, integrated. Let's go back to the plugins and we also have limit posts. This more is for the homepage and it basically limits this amount here and adds the more link. So we've got that there just simply for that. Um, we also have the list authors widget. If you don't know about widgets, we've got a bunch. I'll show you that in a second. And it basically allows us to do this, show you all the offers we have on the site as this is still a single user blog. We are not using WordPress MU, which is WordPress multi-user. So that pretty much helps with that. And if we head down, we have page links too. If you don't know, we have the mob link, mob three link here. So click in that. You see on the bottom left hand corner, it says mob3.co.uk. Usually all these links point internally and we just want to do one external link. And so that plugin pretty much handles that. I guess you could go in and do, modify this through the code, but it was easier to do it through the plugin. Post by author. If I go onto the post that Dan has made, you can see at the bottom, so the last six posts by Dan Valverde. So you can see all the last six that he's done. We've actually got, we've got five here, but fair enough. Um, but it's useful to see. If you read through his posts, you think he does really good posts, then you can go ahead and check his previous ones, which is pretty cool stuff. Let's go back to the plugins. We also have Tiny MCE Advanced. This basically, as you can see, enables advanced features in the visual editor for WordPress, and it works pretty well. We have WordPress.com stats. If I just show you this. As you saw, uh, Google Analytics. Uh, this is basically a dumbed down version. You can see the referrers. I've got a lot of traffic coming from YouTube because I've got things, the information all that people should see from that on each video. You can see all the things that have got the most views, uh, the referrers, the search engine terms people have used. A lot of people have typed in Dunks Web, Mint for Win does today and yesterday. You can delve deeper into this, we've got incoming links as well. And the total view since the site started, which is half a million, which is pretty pretty impressive really for a site that's not even a year old. Now, let's go back to the plugins. You also notice we have WordPress.com stats smiley remover. Now WordPress.com stats puts a tiny little smiley, which helps collect the stats, I believe, um, and that's all it does. It's a little smiley, but a lot of people have found that annoying, started complaining, but there's a plugin that helps you remove that, which is pretty good. WP Ban. Now, if you know about Jehelias, he's a sort of a rival to me. Uh, he's uh, insulted me on a few things, but he came over to the chat room. He came over to the website and started spamming everything, putting hate er over everything. So this basically allows me to ban users, which is pretty uh, cool, nifty stuff. WP Page Navi. If you can see on the bottom here, it says page one of 61. You can go through each page and go to the last. I believe usually it just says next page and previous page. So this sort of adds a more advanced navigation option there. 
and we have WP Polls, speaks for itself, adds poll to a blog. WP Supercache, this allows, uh, if you have dig traffic or Reddit, we've been on Reddit and uh, we had an insane amount of traffic come to the site in one go. This may bog down your website, may slow it down, because it's pulling a lot of information from the server and if you have limited bandwidth, this will be an issue because you have a lot of people downloading stuff and you're gonna run out of space eventually or run out of bandwidth even. So Supercache serves up a static HTML page. It's not pulling stuff from the server. It speeds up the loading of pages and uses has less strain on the server. So it's well worth doing. There's a lot of options there as well. And of course we have the WP Touch iPhone theme. So if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android, Palm Pre, all of that stuff, visit the site and you'll get an optimized version. You can also at the bottom say off and then you can go over to the actual version of the site. So that pretty much covers it and I am completely out of breath. So that covers everything that we're running. Uh, a bunch of plugins that you may find useful if you're creating your own site. As I said, we're using WordPress. This is brilliant really. If I quickly show you, if we go to add a new plugin. Now a lot of the plugins just add extra options here. Even the theme does. We have zero option options, which is the thing that we've modified obviously. But you can see all under the settings, we've got a bunch of different things here. Um, that you can just modify and if you just want to find a plugin for example if I want to search for affiliate and find one it's rating click install and it will do it automatically I don't need to do anything it will just install it and then say activated and we're done so I'd say this is the most easiest to use CMS if you haven't used WordPress try with wordpress.com site there's a lot of things you can do through there um, but if you want to have your own site your own domain .com website uh, feel free to use WordPress it's a very good thing and obviously we use GoDaddy quite cheap we use HostGator also quite cheap for having multiple domains and that pretty much sums it up so thanks for watching this video please comment rate subscribe if you like this video sorry it's a bit long <laughs> and thanks again